So a lot of people today have been saying like, hey, you need to watch this Kizzy K Jay Wong video because Jay Wong, want, what are some of Jay Wong changes to Street Fighter 6? And like Arroyo, you tend to give pretty solid opinions. Not saying what Jay Wong is going to say is wrong. In fact, we might even agree on everything. But it's coming from an era to where I'm 26. Jay Wong is older and a dad. Jay Wong grew up in the arcade to where when I grew up, it was more PS2, PS3 online era. Obviously, where I am now in Street Fighter 6. And Jay Wong has seen a lot more grimy stuff than me in the arcades. Characters were actually broken. I know we all joke around JP being broken. But Jay Wong has seen actual broken characters. He's fought against actual broken teams at EVO Grand Finals. So it's an honor uh, for me to even say whatever I want to say in regard to what Jay Wong says. But of course, like this video, hit the subscribe button, comment out, leave a like. We're trying to get 10,000 subs. And also, Fighting Game Select, pop me on the channel. I think I think I'll make a good fit. If you guys want Fighting Game Select with me on, go leave a comment saying, put a Royo on. Put a Royo on Fighting Game Select. Please, please do it. All right. Game select. I am back again, and happy New Year's to everybody. Happy New Year's! I'm doing good. You I'm know, very curious to see what Jay Wong says, though. New Year. Like what? Means, uh, we gotta like throw. what? Okay, real quick. Before he starts, let's see. What do I want? Change Street Fighter Six. Um, I want them to buff Luke. I think all of Luke's. Point. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, I actually don't know. I actually don't know because I'm not a developer in a way, so it's hard for me to say what I want changed. Of new things, but we'll right? see. We'll see what Jay Wong says. Maybe I'll ping yeah, pong off of him and say with Kizzy. No disrespect on Kizzy. Three things that we both want. Okay, so six total six, things. Whether it be mechanics, characters, or even balance changes. Personally, I'm having a blast, but mm. maybe because I play DJ. High level replays. Where am I at? Perspective is a little. Where am I at? But I'm having a blast. I'm gonna start off with one. I would really like dry reversal to be like kind of like reworked in a sense. Mm. Um, I like that. I like the mechanics okay. so much. I think it's. Before Kizzy starts, I already made my claim about drive reversal. I think drive reversal should cost two bars. Um, and it should get rid of a bar on your opponent. I think if you use drive reversal, it should not put you in a deficit where with a game that's very volatile based off of your drive gauge. I think if you're going to spend two bars to get somebody off of you, um, you should take a bar with them. That's So that's, that's me on drive reversal. Let's hear what Kizzy has to say. Let's hear. I feel like people use it for like very, very niche situations yeah but i feel like i don't even know last time i used driver reverse so i'm not gonna lie to you and i, would I like just walk to make it into a way where we can see it more uh you know faster. making it faster i think faster would be really faster good. is also a good if change you use it and if you spend it it costs like two but if you get a successful one you get half back okay like a, a half of drive gauge Ooh. back so it costs like one and a half that's cheap i think that would be okay really cool so i like that uh, that sounds pretty broken actually i think that if we do kizzy's idea with if you spend two, you get half back. And my idea of you spend two, you take away one. I think drive reversal becomes the, one of the best mechanics in the game in a good way. I think rewarding a player on defense. Because mind you, they can only drive reversal four, four times. Because I think if you drive reversal and burnout, I don't think you get that half back. I think if you're at one bar and you drive reversal, I think you're in burnout. You don't get that half back using what Kizzy said. Because then you would take, let's say you both have six. So you go, out, you go down to four and a half, they go down to five. You go down to three, they go down to four. You go down to one and a half, they go down to three. You're now in burnout and they're at two, right? So it's like, at the end of the day, even if you mash drive reversal, you're still in a disadvantageous situation compared to the other person who still has two bars and then now you're in the corner and now you can get DI'd. Actually. Possible. Does it? Yeah, because if you're, if you're adding speed and plus like success, like drive gauge back, that's 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 pretty good. Like you, you use it, you're supposed to use it in specific scenarios. Like if you watch Japanese players use drive reversal, they use it pretty well. Yeah, yeah like, I know. But I mean, they be they labbing it, like, and shit. So good, they use it offensively. Like if somebody tries to get love your the corner, content, Arroyo, have a good night. Hey, I'm making content right now, right now London. London, I'm making content right now for you to watch later. So when you wake up in a couple of days, you'll see this goddamn video on your feed. I hope you fucking enjoy it, London. Find the special move, right? And yeah. they'll, they'll drive reversal. So me actually commented drive, that in my live stream, okay, brushes. YouTuber. I, I agree. I do think it could be faster, but I don't want it to be like Grand Blue abusable. Fair enough. Grand Blues, okay. Grand Blues. Uh, it should be like V Shift, man. Crazy. They're so or V Reversal broken. from Street Fighter Five. Like, I feel like yeah, they, are. <laughs> they are very, very yeah. cheap. You know what I mean? I think so the also I, the point that makes drive reversal so bad 
is that when if you drive reversal a drive rush move, it's more plus, which then allows the person just to do a drive rush plus normal and then wait and then bait out your drive reversal, which is also why drive reversal might be lacking it's because compared to the other ones, they're, they're not the best. I, I, and I like, personally, I like it being cheap. I would say. Okay, hey, support the ads. Watch all ads. Support YouTube content creators. I don't mind. Hey, one change I would like is to add this specific mechanic is um, adding delay get up. Okay, oh, this is actually yeah, huge. Yeah, that. no, delay get up delay that kind of beats throw loops. It stops the whole like, okay, let me finish this combo into flow chart drive rush button. Because yeah, if yeah, you yeah. do delay get up, you actually pretty much make them waste their, their, their drive, drive rush, gauge. Um, button. Right, so some people might not know this is that if you whiff a button, certain moves within the game, if you whiff, it actually gains more recovery. So like Luke's, uh, I think Luke's 5P um, or standing light punch, my bad. Luke's standing light punch. Um, if you whiff it, it actually has more recovery. So by use, by utilizing delay get up, not only are they then drive rushing, which wastes a bar, they're then whiffing an attack, which then allows you to get up, do a punish counter or a back throw punish counter, which then, you know, now you're even more advantageous. Now you got rev two bars, and one, it just yeah, this like is very you, smart. They, Jay Wong, you're medium, fucking smart. It won't be Jay Wong, plus frames media of like plus you're fucking four smart, or whatever, because you know you don't get the drive rush normal advantage, but you just get Correct. the regular normal, and not every normal is yeah. plus in Street Fighter Six, right? Obviously, certain only certain characters have plus normals, but it won't be as oppressive because yeah, then the, it, the it makes rush. the other person think. Okay, so do I smart. drive rush early the late get or up. do I drive rush late after the combo? You know, because everything is like get up at the same frame, I feel like everybody's meaties are just like insanely... Broken. Yeah, I mean, also, you know, yeah. like, it's it also, it's not even what, it's also with the meaties, but it's also with all the safe jumps, right? All the safe jumps work because you know when everybody's going to stand up. Compare if you delay tech, now they whiff the safe jump and then you're able to back throw them possibly. Characters that are really good, it's even like, they, they, they take advantage of it even worse. Yeah. Yeah, I no, mean, that's, that's, like that's very good. Delay so get up, definitely. I want it to be less automated, um, and people actually have to like plan and think. I yeah, mean, Capcom cool. Cup's coming up. For my second one, what we do kind of like how they have rework like, the, the rank, bro, Kizzy. I made a whole video about, about this. I'm not gonna go into it. Now. I'm just saying they should do a complete wipe season two, a complete wipe. Um, like after the balance patch, everybody starts at rookie, and then they go. This rank system is. Terrible. I hate it. Uh, you can keep the legend rank at the top five or top 500. That's fine. But start everybody at rookie. That's all I can say. It's like, I feel like once you kind of reach legend, I feel like a lot of people, especially in North America, is uh, once people kind of hit like that, that rank that mm. is like the highest, I feel like there's, it's really like kind of not, hard to find people within your rank. Yeah, there's also you know? not much to do. Yeah, so you've got the same like three people. I kind of give you re reasons to like kind of like play. And keep playing yeah because now it's like imagine your legends rank you start running to master rank that are like you know 1500 oh you, and like, you losing mad points bro. yeah you're losing like 90 points of playing you is so much higher yeah i think they should make a uh a, a rank system where like you constantly have to play and if you don't play like like let's say for example you take like a, a long break i feel like they should like deduct you from like, damn dude wait ranks. real quick so wait real quick, real quick real quick real quick i know what kizzy's saying is very important Yo, look at the jizzle. Look at the fucking jiggle physics on fucking Cammy's ass. Look at this. I feel like they should like. Oh my god, dude! Capcom knows what they're doing, dude. Fuck. This game is goaded. Rank and fight cave for third strike, and then Street Fighter Six came out. Stopped playing third strike. I came back to third strike probably like a month ago, and then I noticed that I'm back at C rank now because I haven't played for. Oh, interesting. Since June. So I actually had this conversation. Uh, the other day with my chat, revamp the parry system. The problem okay. with parry is that people just mash parry now, right? And it gets kind of like played out, kind of boring, not exciting. So I think what Fair you enough. should do with the parry system is try to make it more kind of like capture that that third strike feel where mm. it's a risk. Parry should be a risk. Parry is not that much of a risk. If you parry, if you hold parry, the worst thing that could happen to you is that you get punished counter grab. That's the worst. And that's okay. Because if you get a perfect parry, you could you could technically flow chart the whole round after that and win the whole round after that because of just like yeah, that's you true. get them in the corner. The other know, thing is over. right if you parry and they and you get thrown, you lose um a bar and a lot of health. But if you also perfect parry and then you throw the opponent, they then also lose a bar 
and a decent amount of health, right? So it's, it's this very, like, risk scenario. Now, there are cool moments, right, what Men RD did against Angry Bird, where he perfect parried on a pixel of health and won the round. Like, those moments should, like, those are, like, the moments I think Capcom probably envisioned with perfect parry, but they didn't imagine people would be, like, just tapping parry in between block strings to see, like, okay, did I get the two-frame parry? Did I get the two-frame parry? I didn't. Let me get the two-frame parry. That's, I, I think that's where the disconnect comes from Capcom. Also, I think if you do parry, there should be a way longer, um, how do you say, recovery. Like, if you tap parry, you should, like, there should be, like, a 10-frame window where you're stuck in the parry animation, and then your opponent can punish you. Or even when they are in parry, and then they let go, there's a certain amount of frames where you can block again, and then your opponent can just, you know, hit you with a, with a heavy punch instead of just going for a throw. Momentum shift and everything, like, it's such a... A great risk and, and like it's such a low risk and great snowball. reward, right? Yeah, snowball. Yeah, hard. New, like if you if you hold if you just like stand that's what up I'm parry, thinking. that should that should be your like mids and highs. And if you want to parry low, you have to press down, hold down, and okay, and so, parry. so okay. I think having two different directions of parries would really help a lot because if you just did standing parry and then somebody presses a low button, obviously you will get hit. And then Very similar to how Marissa's armor whatever. and stuff works. But if you do down parry, then obviously you'll parry the low, but then you'll get hit by like mids and highs. Because now I've just like, you don't even get hype anymore when people just perfect parry and stuff because it's like, I will like, say. Um, they should make it like going off of what Jay Wong said. They should make a low and a high parry for overheads and lows. I think mids should be blocked by both low and high parry. I mean, that's the point of a mid, right? You can block a mid while crouching and block a mid while standing. I think if you high parries for overheads and if you low parries for lows, that's what I'm thinking. Mashing perfect parry in every situation, especially on wake up. Yeah, like it's it's risk free. At that that's point. what I'm thinking. You know, like every character had like their level one in the last patch was invuln or, or beta beta one when it beta first came out, and obviously some of that was like very overpowered, like Luke's things like that, and like well, come down, Luke's not broken. Like Ryu, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's some characters that now really, Luke's not really broken. Needed that. And I, I will wish like how kind of like how Marissa's is. Do you have level ones like, projectile invincible? Okay. Um, how do I feel about level ones not being projectile invincible? Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, I would say so. I would say, I, I would just say make everybody's level one, make, er but, but then there's no balance to it, right? Because if they beat projectiles and they beat normals and they beat throws and they beat, um, other shit, meaties, right? It's like, then what's the counterplay per se? So the, I think the reason either you make more level ones projectile invincible or you make no level ones projectile invincible, which I think is kind of what it is right now. I don't know if some of them are projectile invincible. I know a lot of them are not. Uh, and then make every level two fully invincible. Same with level threes. I, I think that makes more sense. Like if somebody has two bars, you have to then guess, are they going to throw out a level one or a level two? So you do a meaty projectile, you might get hit by the level two instead of level one. But I think the fact that if you make all level ones projectile invincible, right, then certain characters who have projectiles, meaty setups where, you know, projectiles, which is very important, as long as we rank the, you know, like the delayed, um, the delayed teching, then you run to this issue to where wake up level one is now the safe option. You should just always wake up level one. Like, why would you wake up DP if you just wake up level one? It's like, it's just, it's just very, it's, I don't know, I think it's, I think, Messing with the level ones can be bad. Either you give them all projectile invincibility or you give none of them projectile invincibility. That's that's how I see it. It triggers an armor. An armor. But then again, Luke's level one beats projectile. So like that's also fucking hard, right? As a Luke player to even think about that. I don't know, man. It's tough. It's tough. Right? It's tough. Yeah, but I, I will wish that some characters just naturally had like their unique invulnerable super level ones. Like for example, I think Jamie will benefit so much. Oh, yeah, because his stuff he was in goes his under. State, and he just got that. I think that would change him. Like, I guess that's right. I guess certain characters could just use it based on. And I think it also takes. I think. Okay. Last thing. If you make the projectile level one. Or my bad. If you make the level one projectile invincible. Uh, invincible. There has to be longer startup. Not to the point of. Uh, If they throw out projectile. They can still block it. Like there should still be a frame of when they throw out projectile. They get hit. But the fact that if you. Don't throw out a projectile. Um, the point is like now they lose because you can just block them. So like if they make Kimberly's, Jamie's all level, like these specific level ones projectile immune, 
and then they have longer startup, which then allows you to punish them better, right? Like Luke's level one, if you if you just, you know, it, also a lot of these level one that do beat projectiles like Luke, for sure. Like if you parry Luke's level one, you get like nine fucking gauges of drive gauge back, which then allows you just to get a big boy punish. I don't know. That's, that's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, but I see what he says, thing, right? Yeah. But then I guess, I don't know. Maybe the reasoning is like, if they don't have that, if they don't make some level ones bad, then we won't see level threes. Cause I think like a lot Holy of shit, Jay Wong and me are on the same page. Level twos, we don't even see level threes anymore. Yeah. Like Blancas, right? Blancas or Rashid. Like, Rashid. so I think like maybe their goal was to make sure like the level threes were, were cut, were like always oh, bad be jump out. Oh my God. Make it's not even burnout. Ones or level twos bad I'm sorry. I'm complicated. I think certain level ones should always do like at least projectile invo for sure. Just because like, I don't think games shouldn't have obvious checkmate scenarios. Not so Fair easy. enough. Yeah, not so easy. So yeah, sure. that's going to be like my next one is like the burnout situation. Like if you're burnt out, it should be like kind of tinkered a little bit. If you're mm. burnt out, obviously, you know, you take more more blocks done and everything like that, right? But I think they take it the blocks on. scenario of like heavy punch into drive impact in the corner. I think that should be. Yeah, they should get rid of the blocks on. It, sh it should just, if you do standing heavy punch into into drive impact it should put you in lock state yes right i think that's what it should do because like literally is crouching heavy punch into burn a uh, drive impact will always do lock state no matter what mm. so i think every character with heavy punch and a drive impact that's be true burnout what would i do about burnout right so there's several ways to go about burnout one you make di slower so people can react to di's while in burnout which doesn't allow them to get stunned what jay wong said is you have normals into burnout lock which maybe makes DI faster. I, it's it's weird, right? Because because without tinkering with frame data on specific characters, like then you would just make every character's heavy punch, you know, less negative, or you know, um, to where if you do heavy punch in a DI, it's a lock state, which then people would just do light punch in the burnout, right? Driver's light punch in the burnout. So I mean. Doing that's kind of hard of a balance because that just requires all frame data to be tweaked. I would think the most, the more sense would be just be slow down DI to where it's basically fucking impossible to combo into DI. But then at that other note, right, then you look at it that way. Then if somebody does DI neutral, you have fucking years to DI back, right? So like all this is like fucking with frame data to where if you change, if you make DI slower, Counter DIs get faster um, or get m probably more. But if you make DI faster, um, then everything is going to combo into DI in the corner. So, But then it's going to be like a lock state. But if you do make DIs faster, then there's less reactions to DI, which then puts you in that lock state. It's, it's very weird. But then more normals could probably be eaten by DI, right? I mean, I know Guile Crouching Medium Kick, you can DI it. And, and the right timing, but if you make DI faster, so that way it locks more with normals without changing, you know, each character's specific normals, then you're just DIing every normal that's not special, excuse me, that's not special cancelable or unsafe. So it's it's always tough. I think, I think that requires a lot of frame data to be changed. And the only way you can drive impact them in the, like, if they're in the corner and everything, uh, well, to get stunned is like from a medium. And if you just do me, if you do medium into drive impact, then the opponent at least has a chance to grab it. If uh, not, if they do if drive rush medium punch though. Yeah. Like, like if they do because drive rush, then it's the same thing as that left. heavy punch. You're I guess they have down. to spend two you bars to put you, you in burnout. Yeah, and, they, and, and they checkmate you, and they got if DJ hit you, you lost. And they got their level three. You literally lose forty percent from there, right? So I feel like there's a DI least, right there. Like you should. How's the did it? Because that shit was faster. Evil. There, you know, there was that one chance. That you were able to get out and at least you should have that option at least super agree how do you feel about like how the the meter works uh, it does regenerate you, really I fast feel like you should be able to get your bar back a little bit faster i think the interesting fact that like level three is just stop your drive gauge your drive gauge game is like it's crazy it's 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 just the most saddest thing ever i'm just like uh especially getting checkmated off every one i also think level one and level two should at least build a little bit more drive meter while you're in animation like okay i like that actually, i don't mind like this spend right so there are people out there who think that you were you replenished drive gauge so fast because there was like a tweet that was like this person used 
nine or this person used 15 drive gauges in, in the span of 15 seconds. This is crazy, right? And yes, that's true. But at the other time, I guess if they make the drive gauge slower, it would increase the idea of a more footsies base because if you spend three bars for drive rush and a combo, you're really feeling it. But at the other time, if you spend three bars into a combo and you're feeling it, and then you mess up a DI, or I mean, you mess up a midi, get back thrown, now you're at two bars, and then, you know, and then, you know, fuck, you know, uncle's your fucking fills your uncle, you get hit with level three, now you're in burnout, and the whole time your bar just was not replenishing at all. So, but making it recharge faster means there's gonna be a lot more drive rushes. But I do believe that level ones and level two, sh they, I think level ones and level two should boost the amount of drive gauge you get back. I think during the animations, maybe they go at 1.5 times speed. Like the moment the level one connects, I'm not going to say block, but maybe the moment the level one connects, it goes whoop. Like you automatically get like, or if a level one hits, you automatically get a bar. If a level two hits, you get a bar and a half and then so on and so forth. And like. Drive but then that might be broken. You, I don't know, super, man. Maybe like a quarter of a bar, if you do one bar. I don't know. Super, then you should always get your drive gauge back instead of, instead of the drive gauge pausing. Right. Especially for all supers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down for that. Like, some, obviously, level three gives you more. But I feel like level one should give you, like, at least, like, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it don't have to be the same. Exactly. They don't react to the either. Come on, like Kazunoko. Yeah. I got a one. I think that, that makes people want to use supers level one supers more yeah because it's like oh i want to get my i want to get my drive meter back so i want to yeah i i respect that i respect that yeah. I, I think that'd be really really sick yeah i'm down for that is there any other mentions that you have can they can can capcom add a 300 fighter coin option for to buy for costumes 250 and <laughs> yeah yeah that's kind of funny so we can actually yeah so we can actually that's kind of funny one costume for one purchase so yeah that'd be great thank you yeah, that's crazy. That they did. Overall, that's good video, thank man. Thank you so much for coming here. Of course. Thank Where you. Thank you for having me. Uh, they can find me. They at, can find uh, me at Arroyo everywhere. Along with three Gs, same as Twitter, Instagram. Go on YouTube. Find me everywhere. My name Justin Wong, and you'll see my channel. Uh, so you guys know where to find me. And with that being said, we're gonna wrap up this episode. Thank Put you me on fire, so like watching. Overall, what I I think they made good points, right? I mean, these are two high level players. Um. You, I knew for a fact that their points were going to be not so outlandish. Right? We're not going to be like, they should give Marissa a throw loops. You know, like nothing like that. Overall, pretty good takes. If you guys uh, agreed or disagreed, comment down below. Uh, remember to go find Game Select. Tell them to have a royal on me. But don't harass them. Just in case. Hey, maybe one or two of you go and do it. But thank you everybody for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe and comment down below. Like, and I'll see you all again next time. See ya.